If I'm an endurance athlete, how do I start incorporating sprint interval training and HIT into my endurance trainings? I get this all the time and coming from an endurance background, I get it, right? It is really, really difficult to get your head around the fact that you don't have to do the volume that has been pushed in coaching practices in the past. So we're thinking specifically, specifically in older women, you know, 45 plus, who are in that peri-postmenopausal um, time frame, and we really need to implement that high intensity work. We look at doing more intervals as well as lifting because those are the two things that are going to improve that endurance performance. Yes, you do need time on the feet, but we need to really think about dropping that volume. So for example, during the week for a typical endurance um, triathlete, let's say, they might have three swim squads, they might have two to three run sessions, and they might have two to three cycling sessions. In the swim squads, you're always going to be doing some kind of interval work because that's the nature of swimming. When we're talking about going for a run, instead of going for a 30 to 60 minute easy pace run, it would be more optimal to think about doing hill bounds for a shorter amount of time or actually putting in one minute on, one minute off and working for a shorter amount of time but at a harder rate. So there's ways of looking at the endurance training and saying, okay, what do I need to optimize in this block of training? And you can dial the volume down and look at doing some more intervals. So there is a complementary factor when we're looking at doing interval training over endurance, especially for women, because we tend to not have as many of those fast twitch fibers, and we need to have that impetus to maintain power over endurance.